Right, so the interior is mostly out at this point. As you can see, the engine's still there, the trim unit's still in there, and I've still got the uh, um, uh, the mid housing on the back. As you can see, everything's now out, which is cool. It was quite a bit of work, and I'll show you the work crew in just a second. What do you think, work crew? That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's my helping work crew. As you can see, most of this is now out. To get all the foam out because everything is full. Everything was full of foam. Was the foam nice and clean or was it all black and yucky? It was disgusting and there was a mouse house in it. There was a mouse house in it, you're right. So the foam... It was yellow too. It was yellow too, that's right. Uh, so this was all full of foam here. On the left hand side there was actually a hatch that was underneath the carpet and there was actually storage space in there that of course nobody could, nobody could access. That's right, that's the hatch, and nobody could access the uh, storage space because it was carpeted right over the top of it. Um, the floor back here was all largely rotten, clearly needed to be replaced. There's no sign anywhere that I can locate cracking um, along the, uh, the ribs of this boat, so this looks to be in really good condition. There was also no sign of like floods or significant water intrusion, so fingers crossed when I take this out, we're going to discover that it is um, uh, completely uh, watertight, fingers crossed. If anyone knows how to take the windshield off, let me know, that would be very helpful. Um, and the next major job will be getting the engine out. And there's lots of little jobs to do, I've got to get this uh, uh, plastic stuff off. Um, so now it's going to be a series of little jobs, I expect. So less dramatic changes. And of course, the next really big job is my favorite job of all, and it will be getting all of the um, uh, all of the, uh, the boat stripped. Now what's really interesting is, of course, there's no brochures available for 1974 that I could find. But in here, I see the words, don't know if you can see them or not. It looks like 24 foot express. So what this appears to be to have been a Chieftain Express um, originally. So that's what we've got. Uh, all looks pretty good. Very happy so far. I wanted to get a solid hull and I think I have one. So what I can tell you is the next big adventure after the motor is going to be getting the, uh, uh, the transom out. And the transom looks pretty nasty and rotten. So that'll be a bit of a job getting that out, I expect. Is an engine? That is an engine, that's right. Okay, so there's the... There's the Mercruiser 165. Everything's in there. Um, I'm told the manifolds are cracked. Um, I might try and get the thing going and see if it actually runs, uh, just for fun. But my next major job is going to be getting this thing out.